What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here. I guess I'm sort of back. I hope you guys are doing great. So today I wanted to remake an old video that I made on the old channel called a discussion on side pins and liners. So in this video, I'm going to be talking all about side pins, liners, the relationship between them. Do liners actually work? Um, and sort of uh, this dismantling, or I should say clarifying some of the myths surrounding liners because there's some misunderstandings about liners that still exist today that has some truth to it, but it's not exactly the truth. So I, I will get to that anyways. So let's get to this video, guys. So as you can see here, I got a shoe box and I got a little PF cake, otherwise known as a BRF cake. And we also have a mini mono tub. And I will get to each, each one of these guys in due time. Uh, they're here to help me explain and show you guys some differences depending on the situation about what I would do in terms of liners. So basically, um, let me give you guys a quick introduction about liners, why we use them or why people use them. So basically with core lovers, right, they are known for side pins and bottom pins even, right? And by pins, I'm talking like even full size fruits, <laughs> okay? Um, and because they're so hardy, right? You don't really get the amount of side pins or even close. I, I actually don't get any side pins with a lot of different species uh, other than core lovers because you need a casing layer on top for those species and they basically won't fruit or will barely fruit if you um, don't have a casing layer. So the side and the bottom does not have a casing layer so I don't get fruits there fairly simple but with core lovers they are crazy they'll they'll grow wherever they want you know they're basically like the mycological equivalent of i'm good with anything so so okay so now that the introduction is done about what liners are for it's basically to prevent side pins that's at least the narrative right um but i'm going to present a different way the the real reason that i use liners so basically as you can see i have a shoe box here and i don't have a liner here why well, it's because shoe boxes are easy to harvest. And technically, if you get your conditions right on top, then you should not have side or bottom pins. As you can see, there's a bunch of fruits in there, a bunch of weird looking fruits. Uh, I don't want to show too much here on YouTube, but I don't have any side pins or bottom pins. And that's because the surface conditions on top are fairly well. So they want to grow out on there rather than on the side. But if we get to the second flush, right? Let's say that these fruits on top grow out and they suck out a bunch of water from the substrate. What's going to happen to the substrate? It's going to shrink. And when it shrinks, it's going to create an air gap, right? But it's still going to be relatively moist because it's close to the wall. The substrate will be close to the wall. So it maintains humidity, but there's going to be some air exchange going on here. And what likes those conditions, guys? Mushrooms. Good fruiting conditions, right? So at that point, then yeah, you, you'll probably start getting some side fruits. But with the shoe box, that doesn't bother me because they are so shallow, right? They're so shallow. They're very easy to harvest as a result. I haven't, I don't think I've made a video on harvesting techniques on this new channel. If you guys are interested in my shoe box, easy shoe box harvesting techniques, leave a comment down below and I will hopefully get, get around to it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, basically shoe boxes are easy to harvest. So that's why I don't use a liner with these guys. So with that out of the way, let's talk about this guy. So this is a mini mono tub, right? And with mini monos, as you can see, or anything bigger, you know, once you get to bigger tubs, basically like a mini mono or a proper mono tub or something of that sort, uh, you'll notice that clearly it is a lot deeper, right? So let's say the substrate goes down, you know, maybe like up to there and you got quite a lot of space here. So you get you get a good microclimate going in there. That's one of the benefits. It's more neglectable, but that's that's for another video. So with this situation, harvesting can be a pain. It, it, it's it's harder to harvest, right? Uh, it, it's quite a, it can be quite an operation if you don't do it correctly. So there's a few ways to skin a cat, as they say. What I like to do is I use a liner. In this situation, I use a liner. And it's not really to prevent side pins because side pins don't really bother me all that much. It's mainly just so that I could lift the substrate out with both my hands out of here. Because, um, you know, floating people float. Some people float. I've, I've floated a few times until I realized I really hate it. And floating is basically um, a method of harvesting a shoebox sorry, uh, a monotub, by basically pouring water into it 
and then basically your substrate will start floating sort of like a bath until it gets to the top and once it gets to the top then you take pick the side fruits and harvest the top fruits and all that and i'm not a fan of it because it's a mess it's kind of risky it feels risky because you're bringing your substrate up you're moving your substrate around to pick and uh I'm, and also it's messy because it's a lot of water i used to have like a special pipe that I put in here that I would suck out of sort of like um, I'm stealing gasoline or something you know what I mean <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm just not down with that so uh, that's why I just use a liner I could just lift it up right I could just lift it up and just pick my fruits and then just lift it back in no fuss uh, super simple so that's why I mainly use liners it's just ease of harvesting so again that's why I have a shoe box I don't bother using a liner um, and also, but you know, people also say that, oh, it's it's because of the uh, air gap. And I said that as well, because that's sort of technically a thing, but with the, with core lovers, you know, this is where I want to show you guys the BRF tech. If you've ever fully colonized a BRF cake, right? Pretend this isn't spawned, pretend this is just finished colonizing or it's been like a week fully colonized and I still haven't opened it. Then you will start to have pins growing on the sides they'll just start popping up on the sides and technically there should be no air gap. Although there could be, but a lot of times there isn't because once it's fully colonized, it sort of compresses. But regardless, with coral lovers, really what I, the reason I say that is because coral lovers are really, really hardy and they will grow with or without air, with or without good conditions, they will eventually grow. So, you know, side pens sometimes are, are sort of inevitable. Even no matter how well you get your surface conditions, you can still get side pens. It happens, I've had it. Um, but uh, yeah, basically try to work on your top surface conditions and hopefully you shouldn't need to have any liner. For shoe boxes at least, for the purpose of preventing side pins. But again, even if you do get side pins in a shoe box, they're fairly simple to harvest. So I don't even bother either way. But I would totally use one still for monotubs just to lift the substrate up. So, okay, so let's talk about a little bit about the history of the liners because I want to talk about some misinformation that's sort of still floating around. And that is that liners work because they block light. Now, that's not to say that it, that is completely incorrect because it is not completely incorrect. Okay, because people fall into two camps. Either they say, oh, it's because uh, it, it, it blocks the light and other people say, no, that has nothing to do with it. Light has nothing to do with it. It's just because of the air gap. Well. The truth is actually somewhere in between. The air gap, absolutely, that is one thing, right? But the light is also plays a role. It's just not like, they're not popping up because there's light basically. That has nothing to do with the formation of the, of the side pin itself. The reason that light works, or I should say the lack of light helps, is because um, essentially when you get a side pin, from uh, let's say a nice microclimate that's created because the substrate shrank a little bit and there's a gap, right? So, so you, let's say you got a pin because of that. Okay, at that point, if the side of your tub is blacked out, then that pin will automatically move towards the light. So basically the pin will not start moving down because you know, side pins can grow downwards. It can go downwards and around even. Uh, it would grow upwards like this, you know? So let's say you get a pin here, it would grow that way rather than that way. So in that sense, light does play a role. But in terms of side pin formation, no, it does not. Now, some species out there will actually form with the help of light, right? Core lovers, no. So don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, so you know, it's, it's like the history of liners before people used to say that it works just because of the light and then it moved to, uh, it's actually because of the new microclimate that's created, but the idea of the light is still around. So, you know, some people don't even use a liner still, it's really old. Uh, some people will actually like paint the side of their tubs. Yeah, just use a garbage liner guys, cause that will work much, but much better than that. That will actually prevent uh, or help prevent side pins from forming rather than, you know, just help it move upwards because that's all that's doing is just blacking out the side of your tubs. It's not doing anything about the microclimate, which will, which is a main factor of causing pins in the first place. So yeah, that's basically it guys. Um, I wonder if there's anything else I wanted to discuss, but I guess not. So yeah, if you guys want to see an easy shoebox harvesting techniques video, I'll go through a couple of uh, different techniques. Let me know. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching everybody. Hope you guys have a great day or night. All my affiliates and stuff, I do mentorship. Uh, all the stuff that you can support me by or I could support you by in the case of mentorship is in the description, guys. I appreciate you all. 
Hope you guys have a great day or night. Michael Filesage, checking out.